I've just updated one of my websites and now I need to deploy it to shared hosting. Now, typically, well, for the past 20 years or so, I go with what I'm comfortable with. And I've been using this shared provider. I'm not gonna say the name, but let's just say it's the opposite of Stop Mommy. Sure, I could script this whole thing, but then I'm stuck maintaining the script too. Come on, things have to be better now than they were 20 years ago. There's GitHub Actions. I use those for my mobile rollouts and they work great. I love them. But again, that takes time to learn if you're new and you have to configure them and maintain them. I also have never tried GitHub Actions for a static website and I'm sure it'll work just fine. And I might not actually have to because Ionos, the sponsor of this video, created something that automates everything, even GitHub Actions. Check it out. This is my Gatsby site right here and I've recently updated it. I've also also put it up on GitHub. Here it is. This is my account under GitHub and I have this Gatsby. <laughs> I didn't change the documentation. It still says Gatsby default starter, but whatever. It's my site. I can do what I want. I'm going to go to Ionos, log into my account and then go to deploy now. It says deploy GitHub repositories. Okay. Now they do offer shared hosting. They offer, they offer managed hosting. So you can do dynamic websites and databases and so on. But I want to deploy a static site. So I'm going to go to deploy now. This is going to ask me to pick which repository I want from my connected account. I want this one, native script training site. And I want the master branch. That's fine. Uh, next step, analyzing repository. Select the project package. So I'm going to go with the starter. I have three of those available for free. And it detected that this was a Gatsby site and it says prefill workflow with defaults for Gatsby. That's pretty cool. So I can either do that or I can configure that manually myself. I'm going to go with the defaults. Why not? Next step is build. You get to select what version of node you want, the commands you want to give, but this is configured for me automatically. I'm going to go with that. Why not? You can add build steps here, but I want an easy out of the box experience. So it gives me the configuration options if I need it, but I'm going to go for it and see if this just works. Next is summary and that looks good. Let's create that project. All right, it's doing it. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> Now it does assign me this URL, which is a default URL randomly generated, but I could assign my own custom domain to this if I wanted to. Right over here, I can go to settings, edit the domain name, edit the type of project it is. If I've for some reason outgrown my starter project type, then I can upgrade it. It also has staging deployments that are automatic. You can turn that off if you don't want it, but it'll deploy it to a staging environment first. Let's say you make a crucial update and you don't want it to go directly to production you go to staging first and if that looks good then you push to production so this has it in there and it's included very easy interface tells you how long the build has been in process and you can get uh, updates on the build here now remember what i told you about github actions so iono's deploy now actually registers in github as an application it sets up github actions for you and manages that and maintains it so you don't have to mess with that and that's pretty neat so right now i'm not even on the iono's website i'm on github on my repository and I'm watching the actions at work here, which is a really cool concept. If I need to go and modify something, I can go to the code directory and I'll see this new folder here, .github workflows. This is the typical place where you put GitHub actions, but this was added by Ionos for me. I didn't have to mess with this or do anything here. And I can go in here and take a look at the YAML files for orchestration that were added. I'd need to write all this stuff manually and that's not, not the most fun thing I've ever done. I'm a developer. I'm not an ops person. I can do ops when it's done for me like this. But most of the time I like to avoid this kind of stuff, this kind of detail, especially if there's stuff that's easy to mess up. And I don't know this stuff inside and out. So it's nice that Ionos handles this for me. They also give you a nice little documentation link. So if you're not sure about all the stuff that's going on in here and how it's working, you can go to that link and read the docs right here. Here's the build configuration for deploy now specifically using GitHub actions and how to set that up, what each line means. Really good documentation here. How much is this thing? Well, it's four bucks a month. <laughs> First month is free, by the way. So you can try this out. It's completely free. And then it's only four bucks a month for three projects. You can have three websites out there for free. No confusing dashboards like uh, uh, like some other providers, like maybe Stop Mommy. I already made that joke. Don't make that joke twice in one video. Come on, Alex. What are you doing? All right, what's going on 
done here. It's done. So the build is complete. This gives me a little check mark there that it's done. And now deployment is in progress. And now it's done. So both of them have check marks. That was quick. Uh, it only took a couple minutes to do that. And I get a little preview of the website running right there. So I can tap on this URL. It takes me right to the website. And this is a static website deployed on the edge. So it's going to be fast for everybody in the world, which is really cool. It is actually really, really fast. It's a static website. So yeah need to update some of the content in here, but the website works. So I know what I'll be doing next. All right. So yes, this is a sponsored video. Of course, I have to say nice things about this product. But so far, uh, after using it for a couple of days, I have not found any issues. They'll maintain all the scripts for you automatically. And they also have support, which is great. That's something you don't get with a free plan when you're using GitHub. And GitHub's plan is more expensive than what they're charging for three sites, which is really cool. So check this thing out. Thanks to Ionos for sponsoring the video and I will see you all next time.